Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Hi, it's Tim Van Orden on beautiful Cranberry Lake in the northern Adirondacks of New York. I'm out taking a spin in the guide boat and I've been contemplating the leaves, which are mostly gone now, because here in the Northeast, it's fall. It's like almost winter, actually. So I'm sitting here floating around in the boat thinking about the seasons and that we have seasons in our lives, too. It's not always 75 degrees and sunny year-round outside or inside. We often experience fall and winter within ourselves. And fall is a time to adapt and change. It's a time to stop growing and start preparing for what's about to come, which is going to be really harsh. So the trees have learned to let go. They let go of who they've been all summer. They let go of their beautiful, brilliant, green glory. And they strip naked and get ready for winter. They get ready for harsh times. When I hear people talking about doing something really challenging or difficult or harsh, they'll say, I'll do it or I'll die trying. And they do. Most of them die trying, not doing. Because trying is about holding on to who you've been and who you are and what you think you should be or should have or should do. Trying is about not letting go of your leaves. It's about clinging to your beliefs and clinging to what's important to you. And I'm going to do it with my leaves on or die trying. The only way deciduous trees can make it through the winter is to get rid of their leaves so that the snow doesn't cling to them and weigh them down and snap them like twigs. This is what happens to most people. We hold on to our leaves. We want it to be summer all the time. We want to be 18 again. We don't want to get older. We don't want to change. We don't want to adapt. We don't want to evolve. So we die trying. Trying is about sitting on the fence with two feet firmly on the ground and not picking a side, not taking a risk, but saying, I'm going to take a stand. You don't change your life by taking a stand. You change your life by taking a walk, by moving forward, getting out of balance, going into new, unfamiliar, uncertain territory without your beautiful summer plumage, without those glorious leaves. You go in naked. You go in bare. You go in ready to adapt and ready for new growth and new possibility. And you have to shed your leaves to do that. You have to leave something behind in order to get something new. You can't cling to everything and then get new stuff. You have to let something go to get. We often find ourselves in situations that are not supportive or easy or comfortable. We can fight them and we can cling and try to hold on to who we've been and we can die trying. Or we can let go and embrace the fact that things are changing, things are moving, and we can walk with them. We can walk our way into a new life, little tiny steps at a time, if we're willing to let go.